Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves, and we are starting out with Double Q. These are adorable puppies. We have a brother and a sister. And Deborah, who are these? This is Olivia, <laughs> and that's Owen. Well, and they're four months old. They say Karen Terrier. We're thinking maybe Jack Russell as well. They are just so cute. They're from our Third Chance program, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But these little guys are adorable and need a home, just like all the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. So please stay tuned, and we'll be seeing many more of their friends that are also looking for homes here on Irvine Pets and Company. There's a blur of black and white. I'm not sure. I think there is a dog there, but it's moving so fast. Yes. This one's got a lot of energy. Her name is Carly. Mm -hmm. And she's five years old. Oh my goodness, still a and puppy. She is, I'm pretty sure she's a full Papillon dog. Right. She's not a mix. And a lot of people say we don't get purebreds at the shelter. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to show her to sh show how beautiful that we do get purebreds here at the shelter Absolutely. and they're beautiful dogs and you can find a purebred at a shelter and she's got a lot of energy but she's very cute very playful she's very curious about things likes she's pretty good on a leash she's good. she's active but she does walk really well on a leash well that's great well she's five which is still young for a uh, small dog like this but she certainly has a puppy attitude yes Probably a very active person would be a great pet parent for her. Yes. <laughs> I think she's going to want a lot of walks. Oh, if you're looking for a lot of energy, a really cute little papillon. This is Carly. Next up is Bob the Terrier Guy. Whenever I come and I see a terrier, we're in business. And I found a wonderful terrier today. This terrier is named Addison, although I'm going to call her Addie. She's a beautiful three-year-old terrier mix, but I would after walking her say that this is about 98.7% terrier. Yes, she is. Playful, kind-hearted, and obviously owned before because she knows how to sit, knows how to come, knows how to stay. Uh, very, very playful. Gorgeous terrier face. Um, friends to just about anyone imaginable. As you know better than anyone, Kathy, terriers are just bundles of energy. They're all over the place. They, they love are. to play with you. They love to run. They love to sit. And she just loves to be pet and be cared for. She obviously had a good home before. She's going to make a great pet for someone who gets her. Well, she's a wonderful girl. And, and like the Carly that we just had on, she's going to need probably an active person or an active family. At least somebody who likes to get out and walk and run would be good. That would be the best because she really does like action. She's easy to handle on a leash, but she wants to be moving all the time. So uh, we definitely won't have a couch potato here. No. Well, if you're looking for cute, this is certainly at Addison, or as we call her, her friends call her Addie. Well, Sydney's here with our designer dog. It's Coco, and I'm sure it's after Coco Chanel. I think so. Uh -huh. she's a, I, I think it, that's perfect. She's all white. She's gorgeous. She's a two-year-old pit bull. Uh -huh. she's, uh, she was an owner surrender. Oh. She, um, she hasn't been here very long. I don't think she'll be here very long. She's a small pit, which makes her she easy is, to handle. Yeah. She's uh, very affectionate. Um, she has a lot of play buddies here. Um, mo most of the other pit bulls here are in a play group with her. Um, oh. but she's, she has lots of fun. They both get all wet and slobbery afterwards. <laughs> but, but she's uh, just an easy dog to have around. Um, she, I've uh, really enjoyed getting to know her. She's so sweet. Well, because she isn't as big, uh, I mean, pit bulls are strong, but she doesn't seem to be the strong, strong like some of them are. Exactly. So she's, I think she's about 40 or something like that. Oh, okay. Not, 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 a, not a lot of, of uh, weight behind her when you're, when you're walking her, but I'm not a big person and she's easy for me to walk. So. 
Oh, that's great. Looks like she's treat oriented too, so that would be good for she training. She is. She definitely it loves her treats and she sits really well. She lays down. I think she, she would easily learn some other tricks too. Well, if you're looking for a beautiful dog, our designer dog here, this is Coco. Frank, who do you have here? Uh, this is Gwen. Uh -huh. uh, Gwen is a uh, pit bull terrier mix, uh, brindle. Uh, she's about a year old. Okay. Uh, she was found as a stray, but uh, she must have had a home at one time because she seems to understand some commands. And she's really sweet. She's really you a know? nice dog. And her coat is so pretty, so I obviously know. at some point she had somebody taking care of her. She's she looks ferocious, but she's a real sweet girl. <laughs> That'd be a good guard dog because yes. you would know that Scare she's a sweetie, but other people away. might think, oh dear, and I don't know. She loves toys. She uh -huh. loves toys. And she would love to have a wonderful permanent home, and she would make somebody a wonderful pet. Oh, she yeah. would. Maybe take some obedience classes together, but she looks like she'd be an A student. Yes, and she already walks well on the leash. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, I love the coloring. We don't get many with that brindle coloring, so really pretty. Well, if you're looking for a great dog, somebody I love the ears too. Gorgeous coat. This is Gwen. Lori, what an adorable little boy. You think he's a, a poodle, maybe a purebred? It, I believe it might, he might okay. be. This is Handsome Wilson. He is handsome. And uh, he's, this is very soft fur. Aww. It's, it's kind of like that wonderful winter sweater that you go to when it's chilly out. <laughs> it's super, super soft. And uh, he's only a year old. Very but young. He's, he's, he's really good on a leash, and he has a little bit of that poodle prance. Uh-huh. You know, like, but uh, he's friendly. He, he seems to like other dogs, doesn't seem to react to anything. And for a year old, he's, he's pretty calm. He is, because a lot of times the dogs still have that puppy in them at a year, but he seems to have matured quickly. And he's, very, he's just very sweet. He's, he loves to be in your lap, too. Oh, that's great. Well, he'd be one of those dogs for somebody that maybe has a smaller yard or just a patio, just some walks, and he'd love to sit with you. Yes. But if you're looking for a really cute little dog, this is Wilson. Cindy, you have a dog here. We don't often get this breed in. I understand it's a mix. But what it, is it? They, uh, they say it's a Tibetan Spaniel. Oh, really? Uh, he's um, a three-year-old. Um, Tibetan Spaniel mix and um, came from Third Chance. Okay. We did get uh, quite a few dogs from Third Chance this week. He unfortunately is missing an eye, doesn't seem to bother him at all. Oh, that's good. Um, he's a little bit on the chubby side, he needs a little exercise. Um, but he's sweet, affectionate, um, doesn't love to walk too much. Okay. <laughs> maybe a person who doesn't want to walk too much. Yeah. Be great. Uh, maybe if you lost a little weight, he wouldn't mind it as much. But he's playful, uh, just an easy dog to have around. I think um, uh, the, the one eye doesn't face him at all, at all. Animals seem to adapt, and I don't think we gave his name. What's his name? I'm sorry, Carter. Carter, Carter. okay. Well, he's a cute little guy, still kind of busy, he loves his toys, so somebody, uh, his new pet parents should get some toys, but if you just like to take leisurely walks and sit and read or do crafts or whatever, I think Carter would be a really good companion Very for good. you He's there. only three, so he's on the young side too. It's He's, he's going to be like this. He's just chill. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're looking for a great little guy, really cute, this is Carter. Mary Lou, you have a cute little guy. I understand he came in with another dog, and that other dog's already gone home. That's true. Now, don't be fooled by the uh, little white under his chin. Uh huh. He's only two years old. Oh, okay. And uh, he came in as a stray with another dog, but he is he's really a very happy dog. He's just oh. full of fun. He's a cute little guy. Now, he may be over, like he's so small, he may get lost in his kennel so people don't see him. Well, that's possible, although you might notice the ears. They're yeah, just, there we go. Yes, they're, <laughs> they're pretty cute. Uh, and he has um, one plus for him, Kathy, okay. is that he has a, uh, a play buddy here. Oh, that, okay. Right. So that means that he gets along with uh, other dogs, some other dogs. So if someone has uh, uh, another dog at home? Okay. He might be a great playmate for your well, other dog. That would be perfect if somebody out there has a dog that maybe needs a friend, and we always have the people bring in their dog, right? So they can Absolutely. get to know each other. Right. And he's, he really he likes to give kisses. You gonna give me a kiss today? Oh. Are you? 
Oh. He does like to snuggle. Oh. He's cute. Yeah, he's just a really sweet dog. He's a great combination of fun and snuggle. Well, if you're looking for, is that Funchal? Something fun, like that? Snuggle fun, Something like that. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for that, please come over and see Kodo. All right. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She's my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Jesse, we have a hassle of kittens. In fact, we have lots of kittens right oh, yes. now. Yes, yes we do. And uh, if you're feeling rich, these are the coins we call oh. them. Nickel, shilling, and quarter. I love it. I love it. And they are kittens. Uh -huh. They're all siblings. And well, we'd love them to go, all go home together. Oh, but you need to have a lot of time <laughs> and a lot of room. <laughs> and lots of toys to keep them busy. Absolutely, yes. Kittens are a big handful. They are. I know people always want kittens, but you have to remember that, that they're very busy. And there are all three going to grow up to be big cats. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're pretty big already, so you know they're going to be big guys. And how much fun would it be to have triplets in your house oh, like absolutely. this? absolutely. Especially three boys. And who can keep each other uh, entertained. <laughs> yes, <around>. they would. <laughs> Probably egg each other on, too, just like brothers do. <laughs> Well, they're really sweet, really cute kitties, and I think they're going to be very handsome when they grow up. Oh, they're already very handsome. They are. Precocious, too. Precocious, too. Well, if you're looking for a, a lot of money, I think. Yes. This is nickel, shilling, and quarter. Well, Laura, you're here with a kitten, but this is a really sweet, non-active kitten as compared to the three boys we had earlier. Yes, this is Aston. She's so pretty. It was a little girl, mm -hmm. and Aspen was a, is a semi was a semi feral okay. kitten. She came in with several others, All right. um, no parents, and very frightened and dizzy. But we put them out to um, foster with separate people, uh -huh. and they got handled a lot. So now they're very friendly. She's shy, but she's not unfriendly, and um, she really likes cats. We know that because the most recent foster parent has a cat that she just spent all the pictures you see the two of them oh. are together piled on each other and she's very sweet she's kind of a longish short hair so she has a long short hair. i like that description she has a her. very pretty face and i'm told come on aston yes aston loves doing this oh so this she's, she's a cuddle cat very much and i can't explain you can't feel it on tv <laughs> but she is silky beyond Gorgeous fur. She's just delightful to touch. Well, if somebody has another cat that they're looking for a friend, she'd probably be really good for that. So if you're looking for a real sweetie, a quieter kitten as opposed to a lot of the other kittens, this again is Aston. Well, who's this little wiggle worm? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is my little friend Iona. Oh. oh, she's just the sweetest kitty and she has a little bit of energy because she's only about a year old. So. Still kitten, really. Playful, playful, playful. <laughs> Well, just like uh, Jimmy, who was two, when you get a cat that's a year or more, you kind of know their personality. A lot of times yeah. with kittens, they'll fool you. You're not sure. You're yeah. not sure, but that's a great thing about having an adult cat. Although, at only one year old, as we mentioned, cats can be 20, 22 years right. old. Oh, so she's still a baby. She is. And that's something people have to remember because we get owner relinquished cats sometimes because people haven't planned for that. They don't realize that kitties live a long time and they, they do. They bond to you and they want to stay with you. That's right. So please plan when you please. decide to get a cat or dog or a rabbit. Yeah. You have to remember that. 
That's a microphone. Yeah. Well, Iona is a girl who's going places. Yes, she is. I'm going to let her go for a yeah. second. <laughs> she has her own agenda mapped out for the day, and that's to sit on this. So Iona's really a nice cat. I think she'll be a city cat, a, a playful cat. A loving cat. Yes. So that you're looking for a great combination cat, that's Iona. Kevin, who is yes. this? This is Don. Okay, what do we know about Dawn? Well, Dawn is awfully curious at the yes, moment. Yes, she is. Right? <laughs> She's a cat. <laughs> She's a cat. <laughs> so curious cat, obviously. And um, yes, Dawn is just awfully sweet. And here, oh, sorry. And um, she just like warms up to you like instantly. You know, she is like the Dawn. She just brightens up your day. <laughs> as cheesy as I sound, but she's really great. As she, I understand, she loves to be brushed, which is yes. really good this time of year. Yes. Because it loves, is shedding season. It is shedding season. It definitely is. But he loves it. He's very patient mm -hmm. and just um, just like nuzzles right up to you. She's it's a just, really good girl. Yes. And she kind of goes along with the black and white theme we have going at the shelter right yes, now. Yes, we've got the whole black and white thing going on. <laughs> we do, the whole, we do. The whole roster and cast, he's part of it. And now he's just, you know, <laughs> playing with his nails. A really good girl. He's just a, such a great cat. Well, if you're looking for a real sweetie, somebody to warm up to you immediately, this is Dawn. Yep. Well, we go from kittens to the other end of the scale, and we yes. have a grand old lady here. Yes, this is Tobiana. Tobiana, what a pretty name for and a pretty the, girl. And as you can see, unlike kittens, she's not crawling all over me. No, she's not. She's being Although very she is very curious. Cat. Yes. yes. Uh, Tobiana is a one of our senior cats. Okay. Yes, she's 13 years old. Okay which means she qualifies for our Senior for Senior program, which if a senior over 60 adopts a senior cat, we uh -huh. waive the adoption fee. Okay, I believe it's 62 and 62. over. 62. I believe that's how the program's working now. So, and she's so pretty. And extremely sweet. She does have a bit of arthritis. Okay. So she's not going to be the most jumpy cat. Okay. Well, you know, she'd be really nice for a um, senior citizen. Of course, senior citizens could be quite spry. I could say, I have oh, life, I, ex I, life experience in that. I don't want to uh, make any judgments, of course. <laughs> I'm just saying that this cat is not on my shoulder. Exactly. My ears off. <laughs> exactly. No, and I think it would be so nice to just sit with her. And uh, at 13, she certainly has a few more years of love. Some cats live to be 20 or 22. And a beautiful cat, too. If you're looking for a gorgeous cat, a real sweetie, this is to Tobiana? Tobiana. Tobiana. Well, we go from quiet to very busy and active and energetic. Who is this? This is Jimmy. Uh -huh. He's about two, maybe two and a half. And he's a wonderful cat, but yes, he is active. And he wants to play with you and anybody else around. <laughs> if you come visit, he'll reach out through his bars of his cage to see if he can get you over there. He plays with the cats in the next cage via the corner. And he's just a very, very active, beautiful cat. He is. He's one of those when you go by his kennel, it's pick me, pick me, pick me. Yes. Um, probably lots of kitty condos, places for him to climb, lots of toys. I bet interactive toys would be great for him. And as you can tell, a great purr. Yes, it's got a I think you can hear it. And he's so pretty too, that kind of beige color. Really a gorgeous guy. So kittens are fun, but guys, you get Jimmy, you know what you're getting, right? You do. And you're getting it right now. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. So if you're looking for lots of energy, a bigger boy, but still only two, so that's quite young for a kitty. This is Jimmy. Well, Kevin, this is the last kitty that we'll be talking with on the show today. Yes. Who is this? Last but not least, this is Nina. Nina, yes. absolutely not least. <laughs> absolutely not. And she's got the beautiful baby blue eyes. She is just so like, almost like a rag doll. I mean, just look at her, just really calm um, and loves attention at the same time. She's not like aloof or anything. And um, she's just like the perfect cat. I don't know how yeah. to describe it. Now she has tested FELV positive, but a lot of times we get false positives. So when you come over to see her, you can talk to the clinic about it. If you have another positive cat, then it would be a great home for her. Yeah. We usually uh, suggest not taking a positive cat in with, with other cats, yes, but again, we get cats. a lot of false positives, so she may not be. Yeah. And she's really sweet. We're trying. Yeah. Yes. 
you will fall in love with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the coloring, she has some blue point and Beautiful. some gold, yeah. and she has that Ameri almost American short hair face. There's all kinds of good stuff yes. in there. She's so great. <laughs> so if you're looking for a real sweetie, somebody that would just make a great pet, this is Nina. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care just Center or call Nina, our office. Buy a kitten with big green eyes and snow white paws. I know for certain she'll be climbing my curtain, leaving her hairballs on the floor. But So, I got this new family, and I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Beautiful white rabbit. I think of this as just your classic rabbit. Who oh, is yeah. this, Elena? This is Little Treasure. Oh. She was found as a stray. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We don't really know her age, but we're guessing around eight months okay. at this point. So she is still a young girl and she'll live a good 10 years at least. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah, people often ask that about rabbits because they're not mm -hmm. familiar with them. So. Oh yeah, they live a long time, as much as any medium-sized dog would. Okay, that's yeah. great. But being this age, you kind of wonder if this was a rabbit that somebody got for Easter and then... It could have been, because we got her in around that time a couple months after Easter when they get bored of them. Yeah, it's like, okay, this isn't fun anymore. So, yeah. like all animals, you have to remember that you're going to have them for a long time. Yeah, and I don't know who would give this little girl up. She's just the sweetest. She's really a sweet little girl. She's happy just sitting on you and cuddling. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, if you're looking for a little cuddle bunny, somebody <laughs> just sit on your lap. This is Treasure. We have another beautiful little girl, and if she were a cat, she'd be a chocolate point Himalayan. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like she's a Himalayan. Uh -huh. She's just a doll is what she is. She uh, is. She looks like she's got a little Netherland dwarf, a pushed in nose, oh, and the little ears, okay. and this beautiful, um, extra fur right here is probably a little bit lion head in them. Oh, all in kinds her. of good stuff in there. She's just a doll. You can see her sitting here so sweet. Um, she's got a great personality and would make someone a really nice pet. Would she be a first rabbit maybe for somebody who hasn't had them before? She would be a great first rabbit, uh -huh. but not for someone with small kids. Okay. Um, you know, we usually, kids that are a little bit older, maybe 10 and up, okay. and we usually recommend like bigger rabbits. Um, okay. They seem to be a lot of times a lot tamer, and little rabbits sometimes are more skittish. Okay, okay. And then if somebody, the whole family, learns how to work with the rabbit, then that's a really good thing. So yes. say a lot of people have not been had rabbits as pets when yes. growing up. But she's just a beauty, so if you're looking for a gorgeous rabbit, very sweet, this is Priscilla. <laughs> well, Elena's back with another rabbit, and what is this coloring called? A Silver Martin. Oh, so pretty. They have the black coat with the white around the eyes, behind the ears, and on their bellies. Oh, what a gorgeous girl she is. What's her name? Her name is Brumby. Okay, let's change that name when she goes home. <laughs> you can hope. <laughs> And she's young, so she can change to just about anything at this point. There we go, yeah. there we go. Now, um, is the Silver Martin, is that the coloring or the kind of rabbit? That's the color. Okay. It's very rare, we barely get them at the shelter oh, here. I don't remember seeing them very oh, often. Yeah. <laughs> now, is she a mix of some kind? We're not very sure. All we know is her coloring and that she's a little short-haired bunny, so she's not going to get too big. Okay. All right. Yeah. She won't get much bigger. And she's very sweet. We've had some really good lap rabbits on the oh, show. Yeah. Well, she's still a baby. She's uh -huh. four or five months. Okay. So her personality will come out more with time. And once she gets home, and yeah. a real family, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're looking for a really pretty rabbit, something that we don't get very often, and her name again is? Brumpy. Brumpy. How could I forget Brumpy? <laughs> for more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Live with a human for a while and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. 
I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floor stays so clean. She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? so you'll have time to work with them. So we'd love to see you come down to the Irvine Animal Care Center and adopt a new friend or two. And we'll see you next time on Irvine Pets and Company.